Hey everyone, Rick Timbles here, and we're going to be doing how to make a quick NPC companion. This is nothing fancy, um, but this is not a tutorial series, so if you don't know how to use the GET, go to Google, YouTube, type in GET Tutorials, and then you click on the ones that say GEC. And then there you go. Look at that. Wow. I actually don't know if this guy's any good, but he's got 2,000 views, so yay. Oh god. Okay, so let's go. So, um, I'll run through this part, um, just because I guess it is part. Um, so basically, just make sure you only need Fallout NV enabled, and just hit OK. And, uh, I should probably cut this part out, shouldn't I? Nope. Alright, so after the get kind of crashes, you can, um, basically what this is going to be about is we're going to be creating an NPC companion. It can be a creature, it can be a robot, it can be a person. Um, and basically all it's going to do is follow you and protect you. And that's about it. You're not going to be able to talk to it or give it clothes or give it weapons. It's going to have set weapons, set clothes, and just basically follow you around. So this is kind of good for people who have, um, you know, who kind of want um, maybe personalized uh, companions that aren't made. And it's just easier not, you know, asking people like, oh, could you make this? So uh, first to get started, we go to Actors. And we can do creatures, or we could do um, NPCs. NPCs are people. Creatures are anything that isn't a person. Isn't that racist? Of course it is. So um, let's go someplace. Let's go to one E Sister A because um, that's where I have my bar mitzvah. So let's double click on that. I hope you can see my mouse cursor because I made sure we could see the mouse cursor. So if you can't see the mouse cursor, that sucks. Okay, so we're at Ant Mound, and what? Let's uh, let's do an NPC first. These are usually the easiest. So um, basically. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take an NPC and kind of edit it, so that way we don't need to start from scratch because um, it's just harder that way. So let's say we want um, I don't know. Let's say we want um, let's get a junkie. So what we're gonna do? Right click. I'm gonna go to edit. Boomy booms. Oh yeah, an ID. Now let's make this easy on ourselves. Um, let's give ourselves a nomenclature so we can easily find our mod poop stuff. So let's name this um, AA zero. And then, let's name this, what should we name this guy? Um, cat, cat skin. And his name, so ID is what the computer reads, and then name is what we see when we go to talk to him or say something to him. So we're just going to name him uh, cat skin because that's his name. And now what we can do is we're just going to hit OK. It's going to give you this, oh no, you changed it. And we're going to be like, yeah, of course I did, dumbass. And just go all the way up, and you can see now that Catskin is not there. You know why? Because A comes after numbers. So, uh, could have named it zero, probably should have. But now if we just type in AA0, he's one of the things that comes up. So yay for us. So double click on this, and that comes up. That's the sound he's going to make. I'm just joking. I don't know how to do that. Um, so we can go around. We can look at stats, factions. But what we should probably do is we can unclick all this poop. Because this is based off of the original NPC. This is basing itself off of that junky guy. And we don't want junky guys. So we're just going to go actor base done. Yeah, take that. So now we can go, we can set up a few basic traits. Let's make him a very old Hispanic man. Woman. No. Yes. And voice type, we can do, we can change it to anything. I usually don't do this, but um, uh, let's give, uh, oh yeah, she is a lady. So that... I don't really know what this does. Uh, doesn't seem to matter. Um, I don't think this matters. Only if you're doing quests, it might. I'm not a. I'm not perfect. Give me a damn break. All right, hit stats while your stupid thing's updating down here. Come on, stupid thing. Oh God. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Look at her. And she beaut. So. Oh God. What happened to her face? Oh Jesus. Oh God. No. What is she, the Pringles guy? What happened to her? <laughs> All right, um, so if you want to, you can either PC level multiply or you can just make her stats up by yourself. So if you want to make up stats um, by yourself, you can um, unclick PC level multiply and then unclick auto level calc stats. I'm sorry if there's noise on the side. I'm playing with some gross shist. So let's make her the strongest woman on earth. Let's make her strength 15. And we'll just leave it at that. You can edit these however you want, baseline. Let's actually do this a little bit more. Um, let's do 200. That's pretty horrible. Let's do 500. 
Um, real quick, uh, essential means she's never gonna die, and since she looks extremely ugly, I'm gonna let her die, because that is the most ugly woman I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of ugly women. So, we're keeping essential off, and I think, is Karajan face preset? I don't know what that means, but you know what? I don't care. This is just a quick tutorial. So, I'm gonna try to delete these. I'm gonna click all of them and hit delete, because apparently you can't just clicky wicks. So, click them all, and then let's do new. And we're going to type P and L, P and L, and then it goes to player faction. So what this means is she's going to be your friend. Um, she's not going to be hostile towards you. And that's um, really all you need because she's not going to attack you then, so what does it matter? Um, aggression, we can change this to whatever we want. Let's have her really aggressive. You know, she'll be like, be like yeah, get out of here, you gross cat woman. She runs over there and gets killed. So AI packages. This is the most important Wharton thingy. Um... So basically, just right-click, hit New, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit, type in our player, this is our um, module for what she does. Basically, this is her her God-given right. This is her reason for living. This is Cat Lady's meaning to life. So we're going to, we're going to just going to type in Player Follow, um, and I'm just going to go over here, Package Type, um, and just do Follow, and then, uh, not that one, this one, yeah, there we go. And this is going to take a second, and then we're going to go click here, specific reference. And then under reference, don't worry about cell, cell doesn't matter. We're going to bring this down and just go right here. It says player ref, and just click that baby, and boom, player ref. Oh, oh yeah. And then basically, you don't need any flags. These don't need to be done. Um, you don't need any of these to be done, and just hit OK. I said OK. Okay. Okay, and then it's right there. And let's just hit OK real quick. Now, I'm going to save the mod real quick. So let's name this um, Player Follow and just save. So that's our going to be, that's going to, that's our going to be our modder. That's going to be our mod later on when we start it up. So I'm going to click on this lady again. And let, we got to give her something because this lady is looking gross. Let's, let's dress her up all fancy so she gets the impression that she's going to the sweet ball that she's always been promised to go to. So right now she's got a revolver, um, a knife, and a, not and nothing. So we're gonna bring down this. Um, actually, no, we're gonna right click in this area and go to new, and then just bring this down. And this is everything basically in the game. So it's kind of confusing at first. Usually it just is. Um, so I'm just gonna find something that works. I want to find a dress for her because um, that's what she wants. And. Um, I don't know where I'm going down there. That's gross. And, uh, yeah, so we don't need to... What is wrong with her face? Um, that's basically all we need to do. Um, she's our new companion. Um, so she's gonna... All, she's, all she has is this. Now what's gonna happen is if we don't give her a weapon, I'm pretty sure she's, she's not gonna pick anything up. So let's just give her a weapon just for pits and wiggles. Now if you give her um, a, a weapon that has ammo, I'm pretty sure you need to give her ammo, that would make sense. Let's give her a pistol, and now let's go to weapon, um, no, is it ammo? Yeah, ammo. 10 millimeter, 75, so what this means is it's going to be 10 millimeter ammo, but there's going to be 75 of them. And then you can click on this, and you can multiply it. So whatever, um, so 8, it's going to be 10 millimeters, 75 10 millimeters times 8. It, it, you, it's simple simple just, just just shut up all right so basically that's all we need to do for cat skin and we're just gonna drag her over here let go Bing. oh look at those beautiful shoes i'm gonna hit f she's gonna fly at the speed of light to freaking earth where is she there she is boom look at that she's like someone kill me please i like pringles i just saved the mod and for snicks and wriggles um, let's do a creature real quick. So, we're gonna click on leveled creature. No, we're not doing that. Leveled creature? Ugh, we're not doing that. Creature, creature. Alright. So, what should we make? Let's make the, um, the worst companion we could possibly ever, 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 ever use. Let's get... What's a sheepdog? What is this? Sheepdog. Alright, that's not a bad companion, actually. So, what we're going to do, actually, don't drag him over because that's going to be Sheepdog. We, we need to make our own dog. Let's hit Edit. And what we're going to do again is we're going to go by our uh, nomenclature. So, AA0 um, um, Licks. That's his name. I'm, I'm very creative today. So, it's not Nikita anymore. It's just Licks. Um, can't open doors. Bull crap. 
Lix can burst doors open with his fists. So we're going to unclick all these. We don't really need to, but I feel like it because uh, I'm awesome. And keep in mind that just because we're unclicking use AI packages doesn't mean that the package we gave um, Cat Lady over here, she's not going to use it. It just means the uh, bot isn't going to use the previous packages that were given. So just hit OK. It's going to say, all right, here's a new bot, you dumbass. I'm going to hit AA0. Boom. Licks comes out. Boom. I'm going to grab him. Oh, yeah. Look at you, Licks. He's so, so sexy. Double click on that. Boom. Now, with creatures, it's different. You come up with this stupid thing. You're like, oh, God, what's going on? Just hit edit base, and you're okay, baby. You got this thing back. Okay, so... Oh, we got stats. You can make him the strongest dog in existence. Let's do that, too. Let's give him 10. Do dogs aren't that strong, I guess. Factions. You can have all these. I usually just delete everything because uh, I only, you know, I only want him to be my friend. So let's right-click, hit New, and let's go back to Player Faction. Boom. AI Packages. You do have Sandbox. You can mess around with Sandbox stuff. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Um, and you're going to go to Add. Well, I'll show you the sandbox thing next. So go to add, and we're going to go to play follow, and now he will follow us. I didn't mention before, actually I really should do this, um, you need to change this, play follow distance, um, make it at least 200, because either, if you don't, they're just going to, they're going to go in your ass, they're going to literally crouch up into your ass and never leave, and it's going to be horrible, so you need to increase that follow distance, and um, basically, you can add a sandbox thing. I think they had, it's just named, yeah. Go sandbox editor location. You can add that, and then your creature will just kind of walk around and do stuff. But I'm not exactly sure. Um, that's more complicated. So let's just do this for now. Inventory. Dogs don't need inventory because they can't wear backpacks. And basically, that's about it for this dog. Um, you can change all this stuff. A lot of this is self-explanatory, but this is really just a simple way of getting someone to follow you. So just hit OK, OK. So we got Licks and uh, Cat Lady, or whatever the hell her name is. I don't care. And we're going to start up New Vegas, Vegas. I have music playing, so you're not going to be able to hear any of it. Because then they'd be like, this is copyright. And I'd be like, shut your damn mouth. Shut your damn mouth. Roll down gonna hit play follow player follow whatever the hell it's called launch that mm's. <laughs> well, I wonder if you can see my mouse cursor when we're in the game maybe oh New Vegas is gonna be really tiny it's gonna be horrible unless I make this 720 which I might all right so I started the game up went to ant mound um, just a tip you probably shouldn't put these guys and in the most dangerous place in existence because they were fighting everyone and it was almost good. So we got cat skin here. All right. Um, and we got licks. There you are, licks. And if you talk to licks, he says nothing because he can't talk to him. And if you talk to cat skin, I think she says that weird stuff. What do you need? Yeah. But at least she's got a, a female voice. Later. Later, cat skins. Later. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Damn. And she's fine. Alright. Lix is fine though. He is going to die. Alright, hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, Lix is dead. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'll see you in the future. Oh, Jesus.